Why, hello everyone, welcome! Welcome back to Playframe and Bloodborne with Dan's. I'm hiding here in the Hunter's Dream for a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Let me catch you all up on what happened between episodes. So, after the last week's episode finished, uh, we decided, hey, I'll, um, why don't Dan, you summon me and I'll go and help you beat Vicar Amelia. It'll give me some more blood vials and some more souls and insight and it'll all be real good. So, we were running in to do that when suddenly we both noticed, huh, there's another bell ringing. And, uh, <laughs> we were like, wait, did, did you see that before? No, I didn't see that. Oh, that might be a play friend. <laughs> it turns out it was. As we were running up the steps to the cathedral and I hit record on the video footage so we'd at least have that. Carrie, you can splice it in now if you'd like to. Uh, we found ourselves accosted by one Dan Hunter Draconth, I think, is the, was the name? Draconeth. Draconeth, okay. <laughs> Dan Hunter was definitely the first thing. Yes. And uh, we got crushed. <laughs> yep. I, so, uh, I misjudged the timing on that, uh, that uh, charge there. And... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> So it was, it was, it was amazing and a delightful surprise. Well, well done, Invader. So just to you know, if the, if any of you want to try to invade our Danborn times, uh, here is the password we use. It's just Ow, <laughs> lowercase Ow. That's it. Uh, we record on Saturdays, ten you generally in the uh, afternoon. Now, I'm not going to let you all know where we are any given uh, any given week i'm not gonna let you know <laughs> where we're trying to record just so we can give ourselves a chance to actually get make progress in the game but if you feel like invading <laughs> the shenanigans uh saturday afternoons is when you'll find us so the first of you is already very successful i'm scared yes. to go outside <laughs> <laughs> I was. I decided. You know, I'm going to do the intro to this episode here in the Hunter's Dream, where it's safe. Everything's safe. It's all nice and safe in here. I do have some additional soul. No, not souls. Echoes now. Garment, you don't say anything new, do you? The moon is close. It will be a long hunt tonight. If the beasts loom large and threaten to crush your spirits, seek a holy chalice. As every hunter before you has. A holy chalice will reveal the tomb of the gods, where hunters partake in communion. Hmm. I think by like a holy chalice, he's referring to like the chalice dungeon stuff, which maybe we'll dip into some. I don't know. We don't have concrete plans yet. But anyway, <laughs> Garamond, nice to Nice to talk to you. Uh, let's see. Nope. Still need one more Twin Bloodstone Shard to uh, bump this weapon up. But I have got a good bit more strength than before, and heck, I've got more Echoes. Let's crank that up a bit higher. Let's crank it up. Crank it up. As a jingle would. Yes. Yes. It really does feel appropriate, especially in Bloodborne, in a game where there are characters like... Eileen, who are out there hunting other hunters who are <laughs> who are falling to beasthood, that we are now potentially being hunted at all times. <laughs> <laughs> A hunter must hunt. There are Dan hunters out there. Uh, I am so delighted and a little nervous, but we'll see how it <laughs> delighted goes. Delighted and scared. Yeah, both. The true Bloodborne experience. Okay, yes. Here, here's what my stats are looking like. But, uh, by the way, anyone who wanted to know. Again, it's going to be pretty much all vitality, endurance, and strength for me. Maybe I'll bump those other three up if I need them for something specific, but uh, it's going to be a pretty uh, straightforward build this time. What are your stats looking like right now? Um, Mostly skill and blood tinge right now. Uh, yeah. And I think I'm going to start sinking some points in vitality, endurance, because I, I kind of ignore them for <laughs> too long. So easy to die. <laughs> yeah, it's it's uh, pretty easy. I don't have a lot of health. It's, it's kind of scary. <laughs> yeah. So, I'm going to head to the, uh, not the Church of the Good Chalice, to the Grand Cathedral where we just fought Amelia. And from there, we are headed out to a new area today. Out to Hemwick. Come on down to Hemwick Lane. Yeah. We got croissants. <laughs> Can't wait. I don't know why croissants was the first thing that popped in my head. I don't know either, but I do now really want a croissant. 
Probably not one from him if I had a choice, but if that's all that I got as an option. It's got fresh eyes in it, Dan. <laughs> Guaranteed eyes in every bite. Two scoops. <laughs> all right, let's, Gwenny, please stop walking on my keyboard. <laughs> I love you, Cat, but you're walking on technology, and that makes me scared. So, I'm gonna run out of here, past the statuary, which we have no further explanation on. Thanks, Amelia, wherever you are. And They uh, must have all been mistakes, and they uh, were like, you know, we have to do something with these statues. <laughs> they just hired a really bad sculptor. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and they kept on giving them additional tries, but man, just couldn't manage to not make a walnut head. Also, lore-wise, I kind of like this description a lot because of what those guys represent. Uh, that kind of works out pretty well. <laughs> it is actually pretty good. We, more on them <laughs> later, trust me. Oh, and by the way, do you notice as I walk outside, a little darker than it was before, the time of day has changed. It is now night. The sun has set. Now I'm not going to mess with those two if I can avoid it. I believe I want to be... Just scooting on past him, hanging a right, and, uh, just a running. Just a running. Yep. Got places to be. Until the people shoot at you. A bloodshot eyeball, what the That's heck is that? That's when you know you've... <laughs> well, what? <laughs> a bloodshot eyeball is an item I just picked up, and I'm curious. Mm. But, yeah, you're right. <laughs> You'll know you're in the right place when you're getting shot from all sides. Yes. I don't think I'm being chased right now. Let me... See what on earth that item was, because I've forgotten entirely. I believe it was a chalice item. Ooh. Also great on croissants. <laughs> <laughs> Getting hungry. Uh, anyway, so, uh, display. There we go. Ah, yes, the bloodshot eyeball, a material used in a holy chalice ritual. An exquisite eyeball, just the best, removed quickly mm -mm -mm. after death, or perhaps even before, used to unlock the seal of the old labyrinth hinter tombs. Yeah, that's definitely a chalice dungeon object. But all right. Delicious. Places to be. <laughs> now then. I remember, the, you remember the movie, uh, Waterworld? I do remember the movie Waterworld. I remember being obsessed with it as a kid, and there's like that one scene he eats like a fish eye. Oh, yeah. And I was like, as a kid, even as a kid, Dan was like, I want to eat an eye. <laughs> I want to be cool. I want to be cool like that guy in Waterworld. Yeah, it's the only way. <laughs> Young Me also liked Waterworld a lot. It was just a movie that was like you'd see find on TV randomly. Yeah, and, uh, yeah. And yeah, like I know, I believe everyone when they say it's not a good film, and I haven't seen it since I've been old enough to actually know the difference between a good and a bad movie. But it's ah, dog. It was plenty fun when you're a kid. Yeah, it's good times. I, I, I am curious to watch it again, because I honestly, I don't remember much of it other than there's a lot of water. <laughs> sure is a lot of water. Boy, that's a real bladed up dog. I'm not going to go grabbing all the items in here right now. There's so many people shooting, and they have dogs. This is a dangerous place to be. Yeah, it's rough. It's going to make a run. <laughs> I mean, y'all hear what's going on behind me. I want no part of that. Ah, jeez. There's so many. <laughs> They're everywhere. Stop chasing me. I hate it. I think they're gonna keep chasing me. Yeah, definitely being chased somewhat. Bad blade dogs. Get out of here. Anyone else? Feeling feisty, are we? Lone gunman? All right, then. Finally, some peace and quiet. Now I can open this door that I'm so excited about. It's a good door. I can smell the croissants already. Mmm. <sighs> Welcome, everyone, to Hemwick Charnel Lane. This is a cool little zone. I think it's entirely optional, too, actually. I don't think you have to do anything here. Uh, yeah. You definitely want to because them runes. You absolutely want to. Uh, but yeah, I believe it is optional. I'm trying to think, because yeah, even uh, the other zone is optional. 
And it's a place of merriment. You hear how much fun everyone's having. Yeah. It's, it's good times by all. Yeah. It's a real party. You'll, you'll all be glad we came here, trust me. I'm gonna ring a bell. Because I can't just, like, hog all this excitement for myself. I know. Oh, they're having so much fun down there. I'm so excited. I know. You can tell much how much fun they're having by the amount of smoke. It's like a lot oh, yeah. of fun. Yeah, like a lot of fire. A lot, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the more fire, the more fun they're having. Real rager that's, down there. <laughs> that's the Bloodborne way. Oh, yeah. Real glad, by the way, that I didn't get invaded by a Dan Hunter on the way over. Feels good. Oh, they do a lot of damage. Boy, they do. They party hard. Oh, no. Hey, there's a bell ringing woman. We should find her. <laughs> if there is, can we, like... Uh, does that ringing mean that there's a bell ringing woman we can actually stop? Or does that yes. mean that that's an invader coming no matter what? Um, I believe we can kill her and stop invasions, but I don't know. I know that's how it works in the nightmares. Yeah, that's definitely how it works in certain zones. I think, uh... We might be in trouble. <laughs> By the way, I'm going to talk to this person real quick while I can. Kido. Real conversationalist over here. We like to party. We like, we like to party. We do. Okay, well, uh, I know there's somebody I need to talk to out here to get an item. One of these little red lantern doors. Don't know which one. So I'll just keep on trying until- Oh! Dog! 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 I repeat. How's it going? Dog! Dog. Yeah, let me go see if I can find my jingle, see what's up. I brought friends. Boy, oh, you did! Wow. You've made a lot of friends out here. Yeah. They were having a party and I interrupted. <laughs> I double dipped a chip. <laughs> <laughs> An absolute foul, yes. Yes, yeah. Lady Jingle does not have manners. Something she's lacking. <laughs> no one's perfect. Don't need manners when everyone's dead. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> it's like, you, you played Mass Effect, right? Oh yeah, yeah. Stand in the ghost of three thousand, three million dead people and ask if manners matter. <laughs> <laughs> those are good words for a jingle, I think. Yeah, those are. In character. Real glad we haven't been, uh, invaded. I really thought yeah, we were in a lot of trouble. I'm, 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 I'm actually curious if they do, uh, spawn in, like, a, a bell ringing woman for each zone, because now I'm curious where she is in each zone. Yeah. Oh, that was a one shot. Oh dear. Now I really hope I don't get invaded. I do appreciate that they're not making me ring the bell again to bring you out here. Yeah, that's like, nice. Because it costs insight every time, and that's not in infinite supply, or I guess it is, but it's a pain. So it's nice of them to uh, not make me keep spending. So yeah, let's see. Let's see if I just ring the bell. Let's just... Yeah. yeah, let's see what happens. I'm just going to ring it, and I'll, I'll start moving forward. In the meantime, let's poke around up here and not get set on fire, please. An important step. Yes. In the not being on fire. Get out of here. Go on. That's right. Let's see. I think we need to get to the other side of this to open. Yes. Yes, we do. I like this zone a lot, too. It's hard for me to think of a zone... There are definitely zones in Bloodborne that are scary and not the most fun. Mm -hmm. I don't dislike them, though. Yeah. <laughs> They're still cool. They're just... They can be very hard and frustrating sometimes. Yeah, I, I think I feel that way a lot about the Forbidden Woods. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, certain sections of it are just like, oh, I'm just gonna have a bad time here. Yep. But it's cool. <laughs> Some nightmare stuff later can be, uh, <laughs> difficult. 
It's like the water level of Bloodborne. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. The Bloodborne Water Temple. Yo, speaking of which, like, after Sekiro, I'm so excited to see, like, if From does stuff with water in the future, because... Yeah. That made me so happy. I heard a bell on the wind, but now that bell sound doesn't always mean safety. And that concerns me. I'm sure it's me. Too many birds! Too many birds. Or maybe it's the bell ringer. Maybe she's around here. Oh, it could be. Could be that's what I'm hearing. Keep running. Look. Find. That's not a bell. Uncover. It's getting louder. Maybe I'm getting closer. I need to look up how invasion works, because this is, like, maybe it works quite different than I thought in Bloodborne. Yeah, it very well could. <gasps> no, wait. I thought that was a bell. It's not a bell. It's a weapon. <laughs> Please don't hit me with the weapon. She's up there. There is someone ringing a bell. Neat. Okay. I need to get up there. I haven't seen you pop in yet. Yeah, I know. Are you, like, uh... Maybe we do need to be somewhat in proximity. Let me back it up. Yeah, where where are you? I ran ahead and fought a whole bunch of birds and stuff because I kept on hearing the bell. And I was okay. curious. I'm going to backtrack a little. Back to... I'll, uh, I'll, I'll run over there. Here, I'm back around the area where he died, so, uh... Oh, okay. Yeah, my my bell is a ringing. So for those of you who don't know, like, this is a thing that we'll, like, we will definitely run into later. And I didn't remember it actually being a thing in any other zone other than that one particular place in the future, but maybe I'm mistaken. Uh, there's a particular zone in the future where there are enemies who ring bells, and those bells can bring in summons. So even if you are not leaving yourself open to invaders generally, in that area, until you take out those bell ringers, invaders could come at any time. Which is really cool, you're like forced into PvP until you can stop those NPC enemies. Yeah. it's Which is very scary, but also kind of awesome. I thought that was just a one zone thing. Maybe it happens elsewhere too. Maybe it's happening because I've called in help. Oh, it's, yeah, definitely because of, of help. And I just generally don't play multiplayer in these games, so... Hey, I discovered the chime! Neat. Like, yeah, I generally don't play multiplayer in these, so maybe I just never encountered this aspect. Yeah, same. I, I didn't do any summoning my first, uh... Romp through Bloodborne. Hello! Also, interesting, it spawned me where I was last standing. It's not where I rang the bell. Oh, interesting. Okay. That's good to know. Well, let's see. So did you kill this bell ringing woman? I didn't. Bell ringer is still at large, as far as I know. Still ringing that bell? Yep. There's the sound. In the distance. I don't know if you can hear that too, but I definitely do. Uh, so there's... Oh, yes, I do. I do hear bells. There is this. That's a shortcut. You can just open and back step. Or not. <laughs> do that so I can, uh, yeah, there we go. And I'll come back. Come on. There we go. Okie dokie. Oh, hello. <laughs> <laughs> All right. She is up on the second floor of the barn up on the top of the hill. Oh, okay. And I couldn't remember what was in the barn, so I didn't just charge it. <laughs> oh, look at this guy. Do you see him? Is he just kind of like sitting hugging this grave for you? Oh, no. Oh. Uh. Yeah, maybe the, uh... It's got a nice little pose on my end. That's kind of cool. Maybe just the, uh, ragdoll is acting a little different. Mm-hmm. On either side. Oof, didn't see that one. Yeah, I remember there's, like, I think two of them sneak up in here. I think you got one of them. I'm gonna equip my dang lantern. Where's my lantern? Where's my lantern? I want it. There, I, I put my lantern on, too. 
Yeah, how do you equip the dang lantern? You just go to the menu and... Uh, you can put it in your, like, toolbar. It's just like a... Like there we using, go. Using a consumable. That's better. Now I feel much safer. Now then. Let's get upstairs. And stop that ringing. Definitely don't want anyone calling the attention of Dan Hunters. Look at her. Ringing that bell. Just taunting us. Yep. Yeah, I do not think she was here when I uh, just played solo. I may be wrong, it's been a while. Yeah, she's- she, no, she's 100% not here. That's super cool. So maybe by doing that we have saved ourselves from- Yeah, the bell ringing yes. ones left, the sound of the sinister bell ceased. We're safe! Ha ha ha! Ha ha! Take that, play friend! <laughs> <laughs> Doggone, Bloodborne is cool. <laughs> that's a, that's really neat. I- I- I had assumed it was always just that- that one of the nightmares. That acted that way. Yeah, same. Learning new stuff. In this extraordinary game. New stuff. Oh, I think there was a... Little, uh, little skittery friend. We need a name for those guys. Yeah. Little, like, skull boys. Because <laughs> I don't know what they look like. They skitter so fast. I, I think I think they're just covered in human skulls. I think oh. they're like a ball of skulls. Ball of skulls. <laughs> <laughs> I could be wrong, but I think that's what I always see when I do see them. The old skull ball. Yeah. Get out of here. There we go. Jeez. And man. goodbye. Goodbye. Do you think she's okay? She's fine. Oh, okay. There's like water down there. No, those are rocks. <laughs> <laughs> those are rocks. <laughs> well, she got the Disney villain death, though, and that's not something everyone can say. Yeah. Did she fade through mist before she hit the rocks? Probably. Yeah. Off camera. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta keep that G rating somehow. Yep. Listen, we're gonna kill your family, but... G rating. <laughs> How did Tarzan get away with it? How did most G movies get away with it? <laughs> <laughs> it's true, it's just like, cause... Clayton's death is not falling off a cliff. <laughs> What's a hunchback rated? That's a good question, because if that's G, that's bonkers. That's- I feel like that's gotta be PG. That one had to get PG. Just- just the song about... boners. <laughs> <laughs> and that song is literally called Hellfire, which really seems like pretty intense for a G-rated yeah. film. <laughs> What's your favorite song, Timmy? Hellfire! <laughs> oh. Okay. The one where the priest says she'll be mine or she'll burn. A you want to see a secret, Dan? Crowd pleaser, yeah. Right here. Oh, they ran away! <laughs> that little turd! <laughs> she called it. <laughs> she saw that shot coming. I know what you were going for, though, and it would have been great. <laughs> <laughs> it's one of those enemies that, like, they screwed you on your first playthrough, so you always remember their placement. Oh, yeah. A lot of bodies in here. I'm just gonna open up that shortcut for you. Oh, cool, thank you. Oh, these executioners, two of them. Yeah, they're scary. I do like them, though, because they're usually, usually easy to, uh, visceral. Yeah. If I had my pistol out. Yeah, I nailed it. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you, you Dan. Bet. Happy to help. There we go. And these look awesome, too. Yeah, they're cool. There's a lot to like. Big fan. Big fan. You know what I don't like? There's like five dogs if you go down this area. I'm, I hate those... dogs. I'd forgotten all about those dogs, and now I remember them, and I agree. Oh, come on. <laughs> we both miss it. <laughs> that was... Um, that... The the movements this enemy just made on my end were amazing. <laughs> it's doing, like, some kind of dance. 
real grateful okay. for the number of blood vials I'm stocking up right now because I'm sure gonna churn through them later. Let's see if we can get like hi too many dogs. Oh god, there's two. You've made a poor decision. Yeah. Oh wow, I do not know how they did not notice you until just now. Where's the rest of them? There's one. Go, oh, jeez. Too many dogs with too many blades. There should be a, another one up here, and then two more over here, I think. Bad dogs. I don't want to charge that one until we know either. Okay, I think I think that's it, and then those two. Gotcha. All right, there's that one. And then the one hucking the fire at us. Please stop. You party too hard out here, you hemic people. Hey, what's your insight at? My insight is at four. Okay, okay, okay. We should be good then. Is there some cool insight stuff to see out here? Um, the difficulty of the witch depends on your insight. I'd forgotten all about that. Oh, this makes me yeah, fun fact for you uh, players at home, if you're struggling with the Witch of Hamwick, uh, go into the arena so you get the first insight, leave, and then go spend all your insight, and now you can go defeat the Witch of Hamwick with ease. Whew, okay. Got that stone thing. I was getting that item yeah, always makes me very that, uncomfortable. that thing is <laughs> the most nerve-wracking item in the game. Okay. We're doing great. Great, I say. Yeah, let's charge on up the hill. I haven't seen a single croissant yet, which leads me to believe someone's hoarding them. Yeah, I think this is the bakery up ahead, so... Okay, awesome. Boy, awesome. I'm hungry. One more of these lads. Oh, yeah. Nope, you, you didn't see me. Lies. Lies. Ow. It's fine. I thought your health with his health, and I was scared. <laughs> <laughs> There's not mimics in this. Oh gosh! Oh gosh! Okay. I had put the controller down for a moment. <laughs> <laughs> uh, chill. What are you doing, please? We're trying to open a chest. Yeah. Gosh. Come on. Ow. Uh, just wanted croissants. They're trying to protect the secret recipe. <laughs> Uh Yeah, there's not mimics in Bloodborne, are there? Nope. Kind of, kind of a, a missed opportunity from. Yeah. Because the treasure chest in this all looks so beautiful. Yeah. Alright. Coming up on another boss pretty soon here. No, this is the bakery, Dan. Right you, you are. Silly, you silly goo. Well, the owner of the bakery, though. Let's see. More bodies about. A lot more bodies about. Oh, I think... Uh, he might have already ran away. I think there was a little, uh, skull friend. Oh. Alas. Wait! Oh, there he is! Ah! Get a look at yeah, you. See, yeah, see, look, he's just like a- he's just a pile of skulls. Oh, and like, yeah! Just a little skull mess. He's got, like, like, four arm kind of things. Yeah. Just a bunch of, like, little skulls and arms and hair and stuff. Oh, was he above there and he falls down, maybe? Is yeah, that... yeah. That was cool. Oh, okay. I, was, I wasn't sure if he was, like, in the barrels or something. All right. All right. Let's see if they're still open. Yeah. I hope so. Yoo-hoo. I'm gonna get a crow nut. <laughs> <laughs> Greetings. The Witch of Henwick. So that's not the actual witch. That's just a threat. The actual witch- oh, is there. The actual witch is invisible and sneaking around. And the actual actual witch is also invisible sneaking around. <laughs> ah. Yeah, there's also fake witches that'll be showing up. You just kind of have to keep moving. And avoiding that big, uh, <laughs> reaper. Yeah. Avoid the- I think they're mad ones, or their name? I think so. And they are beatable, they're just kind of tough, and they hurt. <laughs> I wonder if this will be easier or harder with two people. Because usually you're, like, kind of kiting that, uh, mad one. While moving around. Well, you did a good job finding her. 
I know her spots. Oh, oh, actually, she just spawned right back on me. Oh. Nice. Whoa. Invisible visceral attack. That was rad. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, yeah. It was... <laughs> she neat. was invisible on my screen, so that just looked like you were, uh... Miming it, but doing amazing damage. Uh, I have not... I have not gotten any of the, uh... Oh, oh, where is she? Where is she? Nearly yeah, dead, I didn't get you're... any of the uh, actual witch's hits. Uh... Uh, Dan? Yeah. You see this? You seeing what I'm seeing? Ow. Oh, 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 no, 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 no. Oh, well, Ooh. I took the hit for you. Thank you. Hope you don't die. Definitely will. Uh, interrupt. Oh, you're alive. Oh you're god. alive. You're alive. Oh my god. Hold move, because oh there's a mad one right on you. <laughs> yep, got me. Oh, that's a bummer. All right. Well, I'll see what I can do. I believe. <laughs> I wonder if anyone's got a tally of how many times I believe has been followed by actual success. <laughs> because, uh... What are you talking about? You win every time, Dan. Yeah. Remember this time? I do remember that one... No, I don't actually remember a single time. <laughs> I'm a little distracted right now, admittedly. But, um... What could you possibly be doing, Dan, that's distracting? Yeah, you know... Ah, oh, crap. No. Dog on it. Yeah, let me out. Woof, boy. Woof. No grabs. I need to not be using a big slow weapon right now. I need to be agile and paying attention. Okay. Nope, do not hit me with stuff, please. I wasn't worried about this boss before, I am more worried about the boss now. Ah, I was going in for the kill. And now I might die. <laughs> Uh, hard to say. Nope, I'm alive. It's not a one-shot. That's great. We can all be super happy about that. You. Uh. Alright, there's one still wandering around. I wonder if I can hit her. Oh, boy. Yeah, I really don't love there being two of these wandering around. Yeah. No, they're not fun. Yep. Nope, don't get hit by that. I just got a very fun email, Dan. A fun email? And by fun, I mean not at all. Aw. I, uh, someone just hacked my Switch and spent a bunch of money. Oh, crap. That is obnoxious. Hmm. I'm sorry, man. Yeah, that's... that's... I'm uh, gonna have to do something about that. Yeah, I... Gracious, I hope Nintendo is helpful with that. Yeah, same. Oh, that sucks, I'm sorry. And the worst... The, you know what you know, when, you know what they spent it on? What? <laughs> I wanna hear, what is it? Fortnite. <laughs> <laughs> oh. They spent it on Fortnite bucks. <laughs> I guess that's not surprising. <laughs> of all the things it could have been. Of all things. It couldn't have been, like, a game, and then I'd be like, oh, I'll, I'll just redeem it, you know, I'll just play it anyway, too. Huh. Guess I just get a game now. That I <laughs> Gotta get that, you know, sweet skin of guy in a, a hot dog or something. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that sucks, man. I'm sorry. Ooh, yeah, that's gonna be interesting to deal with, because I don't know... I... Maybe, maybe, like, they, they hacked my Fortnite? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. How's, the, how's the witch fight going over there? It's going. I keep... There's specific mechanics of the fight that I don't remember exactly right, so, like, uh, one of them does keep getting revived in ways that I don't love. But, uh, I'm wearing the health down, though.
bit by bit. There you are. So does insight just influence uh, like the damage you take from them, or does it like affect the range at which you can see them? Like I think it affects the amount that spawn. Oh. I don't, I'm not sure of any of the uh, other uh, properties there. Boy, they're sturdy. Just running around, looking for witches. Ow. Don't love whatever that effect was. Who's shooting at me? Nope. Okay. I'm uh, surrounded by those mad ones. Don't love that. She's down to the third health, though, so we're getting there. Nice. Okay. Keep on moving, keep on looking. Where did that come from? Where are you? Come on, get hit. Stop spawning new ones, darn it. Just cut it out. Wait. There you were. Almost. So close. I believe. This may be the first time. See? A historic moment where belief led to success. All right. That was a fake one. Where's <laughs> the daggum real one? No. Please no. And where are you? That might have been it. Might have been it. Where's the other? Uh, okay, go. Down. Die. Please. That might have been it this time. Come on. Yeah, pray slaughtered wonderful. Very nice. Woo, a historic moment. Uh, thanks for all the bloodshot eyeballs. Thanks very much for this lantern and furthermore thanks for whatever's waiting for us down here hmm a little cell and what looks like the tied up body of a hunter it seems like a rune workshop tool hmm Let's read that. Let's see. The Rune Workshop Tool. Runesmith Carroll, a student of Bergenworth, transcribed the inhuman utterings of the Great Ones into what are now called Carroll Runes. The hunter who retrieves this workshop tool can etch Carroll Runes into the mind to attain their wondrous strength. Provost Willem would have been proud of Carroll's runes, as they do not rely upon blood in any measure. Interesting. Lots of interesting flavor there. Mm -hmm. We'll get some more context on some of those characters and stuff later. This is probably Carol, though, which is unfortunate. So she won't be doing any more of that etching, sadly. Shame. Looks like she's been dead a while, though. Kind of seems like. I mean, there's fresh blood, but where isn't there fresh blood in this game? So... Anyway, we're done, and I think that's going to be it for the episode. Sorry for the lack of croissants. You'll all have to go get your own. <laughs> but let's be honest. The croissants, they couldn't have been that good. They'd have been covered in eyes or blood. One of the two, yeah. it's always one of the two. Y'all know how it goes. Always. Anyway, have yourselves a lovely day, and we will see you next time for some more Dan's Playing Bloodborne. A goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs>